Hello Wanderers, before we get into today's episode, we wanted to go over a few things with you guys. We have an ever-expanding Discord server, built with some pretty awesome people. We'll leave an updated link in the show notes. Also, our Patreon has been updated with new perks. Patrons now have access to not only shoutouts and early episodes, but now exclusive content like monthly original tales and HD posters. We also currently have a Patreon goal, where when reached, Scott will do an Entity Tier List episode. So, if that interests you, consider checking it out. To send us off, we have a merch store along with a YouTube channel, both will be linked in the show notes. That's all the announcements we have. Thank you all for listening, and let's get back to the episode. Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Traveler's Guide to the Backrooms where we try to go over and explain the lore of the many levels and entities within. My name is Sharp A3, an MEG AI processing system, and in today's tale, we'll be shadowing a man named Alistair Morgan, a major person of interest within the backrooms. Notably known as the Heretic, a highly ranked ex-member of the Eyes of Argos, Alistair finds himself within an old abandoned church within level 11. It's noted that the church once belonged to a sect of the followers of Jerry. He seems to be after something known as the Ghost Killer, described as a demon-like being. Though for what reason, that remains to be seen. With the intro out of the way, let's get into the tale. Though he is not aware of this history, it was once known as home to a group called the Followers of Jerry. They had made a great pilgrimage from Level 3, one that took the lives of several priests and prophets, only to end up at this derelict church, nestled deep within a then-abandoned city. Though the church momentarily brought them peace, the followers were eventually disgraced and cast out of the world by the wider backrooms community, left to rot within the entombing pages of history. He knows not of their existence, for they were disbanded long ago. But he does feel a presence amongst this ransacked place. A sound which carries itself through the rafters, a silence speaking louder than most. This place was once known, he thinks to himself, and now it is not. The lingering canopsia grows in his mind, unsettling him slightly. As it does so, he hears the empty pews beckon his name. Almost involuntarily, Morgan takes a seat, his rusting armor creaking in pain as he does so. It has been a long journey, and his body reflects such truths. The eyes of Argos symbol on his chest plate has been sanded off. His helmet is adorned with war paint. His blade is stained red from far too many battles. But it is not done yet, he ponders, for there is still an enemy I still have yet to face. In a matter of seconds, the looming importance of his mission overtakes the mysterious strength of the church. He is then reminded of the ghost killer, a demon which he will soon confront in the flesh, and their subsequent, inevitable conflict. He knows that the killer will not submit to his demands. He knows that one of them will have to die. He sighs and stands up once again. The brief respite has ended, and the war has resumed. There is work to be done, and the ghost killer will only reside in level 11 for so long. And, though Alistair would almost prefer it to be true, he is not hiding within this church. This quiet, peaceful church. A refractive place, born from dreams and tragedy. Closing words. So, that was the church, part 1. What do you guys think about this short tale? What is the significance of the church to Alistair? What is the ghost killer and why is it being hunted, and what happened to the sect of the FOJ that once called this place home? We'd love to know what you think. As always, we'll leave a link to the tale page so you guys can read it yourself. We highly suggest it. That's going to be all from us today, so thanks for listening and we hope to see you guys in the next episode. Until next time, have a wonderful day, and be safe out there. I would like to say a very special thank you to our patrons over at Patreon. Starting with the Wanderers at the $1 level, Ridiculous, Izzy Klein, Caleb Hills, Vizico, Nathan Gear, Anakin Bumgardner, Sushi Penguini, Jeff Nordley, That One Random Guy, The Good Diamond, Undead, Brandon Berry, Shelby Girl Gaming, Mystery BMO, Coconut Cluster, and Brandon Briars. Next up are our Senior Explorers at the $8 level, Stephen Conger, Manacord, Lee and Zephyr the Cast Iron Crow, and Ant. 
Thank you all for going that extra step to support us and what we do. It's greatly appreciated. If you would also like to get your name shouted out at the end of the episode, get access to exclusive Patreon content and more, go become a patron on our Patreon. Thanks again for listening, and have a wonderful day.